can never find a good spot for this mic. And I hope this is as good as it can get. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Or Tomb Raider 2013. Depending on how you prefer to call it. But anyway, uh, welcome back. Been a couple of days since we got the first recording done and over with. I already got the two episodes out, so we're just going to go ahead and go in for another hour. Where we last left off, Laura managed to reunite with Roth. But unfortunately, he's like took, uh, I guess, some pretty bad bites from some wolves. He passed out, so now Laura has to go after the wolves and fetch his food pack, which has all the supplies needed for his leg, as well as some, as well as the transponder from the ship. I'm sure you can just pull a torch from. Something I could probably do in my free time. These ruins come a curve period. Was all this part of Yamatai? This must have belonged to a U.S. Marine. Were they on the island in force or just an advance party? Do these marks represent friends lost or enemies killed? Either way, he needed a drink. was R3 for the uh, survival vision, but I guess that's in the next game? Yeah, I can hear the ring. I'm using the transponder. Oh. I just want the pack. That's all. Got it. Okay. Got to get this back to Rob.
Yeah, I think she used her arrow. I thought she pulled a knife out of somewhere. Alright, we got it. Let's just back to Roth. young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Type of my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura. in the waterfall. I'll take a look at that later. There we go.
It's pretty fierce, and the rain is coming from the side. It's just the thunder. I thought that was some wolves deeper inside. Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. He's cute, <laughs> huh? Hey, hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. <laughs> from her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Cut! 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 Cut. Wow, what a drama queen. Is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. Well, for now, Doc. The world-renowned archaeologist, yeah, Dr. James Whitman, is 
just a fish. It's fine. Oh, it's just They're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice them down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. But first. Thank God for us training. All those tracks, all those climbs. As if you've been preparing me for something like this all along. It's clear that there are people living here. And they're organized. Killing and recruiting. Why? It's like some kind of cult. They want. What are they looking for? Okay. I know I gotta move on for their hit, but now that they're all gone, I should probably take a look around. Like, no, I thought that was a box. This coin probably found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid 19th century.
Okay, nothing there. Yes, cache. This bunker, World War II era, probably Japanese. Ah, oh, jeez. Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison. There's a melee button. I guess not. Well, she does do a show, so that counts or something. Let's see where they sleep. Open flame, that's not good. No, sir, you're done. Something was supposed to happen. Just 
can't open. Nope. Expedition field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. I imagine that they wanted to probably find the source and use it as a weapon, based on that last sentence. Are you there? Yeah. The console's a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh... You're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. Oh, hello. I am alone now. 
The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. They mentioned the ritual, so I'm guessing that's what it's tied to.